let's take a trip back in time to 2020. A time where everything in the music industry was unknown due to the worldwide pandemic known as COVID-19, which shook everything we thought was normal. COVID impacted parks heavily through the delayed openings, park requiring masks, temporary ride closures, and so much more. But little did we know, Universal Orlando Resort had something big up their sleeve that would soon change the way we look at coasters forever. Prior to an incredible creation being made, Universal was always home to good coasters, but none of them really being world class thrill rides until Velocicoaster opened to the public on June 10th, 2021. Immediately being one of the best coasters in the world, Velocicoaster gathered lots and lots of attention from guests visiting from around the world, and boy is every person who rides this in for a treat, as not only is this coaster absolutely incredible, but it has also impacted the coaster industry in huge ways, but in what ways you may ask? Ask, you'll just have to wait and see but most importantly before we start if you're new to the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos on coasters often as it really helps the channel out tremendously also if you want to see more make sure to look at the link in the description where you can see all of the coaster thrill social media accounts in colluding instagram for updates and much more but now that's out of the way let's jump in. As I mentioned earlier, Velocicoaster does not only provide a fantastic experience for Universal Orlando, but it also has made a huge impact on the coaster industry as a whole, for now and for years to come. Mainly, Velocicoaster has opened the doorway and inspired many parks to incorporate theming into their attractions, especially in the amusement parks that, let's say, five years ago would never even dream about theming. One park that is really stepping up their game and theming over the last year or so is Six Flags Fiesta Texas, mainly due to the president of the park, Jeffrey Siebert, that has impacted the park in ways nobody would have expected. Poltergeist, one of the park's older attractions opening in 1999, was just recently revamped in 2021, and man, does that make an impact on the ride experience through the brand new theming this ride gives off. Though Poltergeist may not be as heavily themed as Velocicoaster, it really shows the parks really are trying to incorporate more theming into the rides as that also plays largely into the brand new 2022 coaster coming to Fiesta that is Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Velocicoaster has made huge impacts in the industry through this reason by showing that you can still have a great coaster with some fantastic theming and it truly is a good thing that parks in America are actually starting to do. The reason that I kind of emphasize America is because Europe has also followed this concept, even though a lot of these rides came before Velocity, such as coasters such as Terran, Karnan, FLY, and so much more that really follow the approach of incorporating theming into their rides. I would almost say some of the theming in the Europe parks is on par with the Velocicoaster, especially Terran, located at Fantasialand, the weaves in and out of the rock work incorporated with the themed land known as Kalukheim. In lots of aspects, Europe has been ahead compared to some parks in America mainly due to the theming regard, especially compared to some of the coasters in America that really failed with theming their coasters. Two recently opened coasters in America are Velocicoaster and Pantheon that even though they are both intimate multi-launch coasters that opened about a year apart, I would consider them polar opposites, specifically in theming. Some may say that the ride layouts have about the same quality of elements flowing together in a fluent coaster ride, but Velocicoaster has theming, something BG Dub failed to accomplish. This could also be applied to some other SeaWorld coasters such as Icebreaker and almost Iron Gwazi, but this could pretty much be applied to all of them, as 
not theming their coasters with such a good idea is really just a huge missed opportunity. As we see through Pantheon's queue and station, there is almost nothing notable to take in as it almost looks bare and not really good at all, which as I said is a huge missed opportunity, but you know due to the budget of SeaWorld Entertainment, it was apparently not possible. Though some people may not agree, I really have over the years considered theming on a coaster to be a big factor on how good a ride experience is. Of course, being shown through Velocicoaster, which is one of my favorite coasters I have ever ridden. The way Universal goes through with their new rides truly is world class. Once again, shown through Velocicoaster that really does set a new standard in the music industry. Industry, hence how Velocicoaster sets a new standard. But I would like to hear what you think. Make sure to post that in the comments below. If you think theming is as important to a coaster as I do, I really read every comment. Love what you guys have to say. And of course, make sure to click on the subscribe button, like the video, do all of that stuff as really you are not going to want to miss what's coming up next on Coaster Thrills.